Hi, I'm Moonwater Silverclaw, and I'm the founder of GoddessHasYourBack.com and the author of nine books and three online courses on Udemy.com. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how witches discover their destiny. Recently, my friend Carrie faced a big decision. She wanted to get a job in a particular organization. Her first thought was, I'll apply for an easy job. Easy meant to her it was below her qualifications. However, someone she knew in that organization looked at her resume and said, this resume is impressive. Then Carrie had the intuitive thought to apply for a higher level job. Some of the qualifications of this job were beyond her experience, but she took the appropriate risk and applied for the higher level job. I have three insights for you about discovering your destiny. The first insight is hear and act on your intuition. Years ago, I heard this idea. You can tell the difference between intuition and fear. They're like voices. The voice of fear says, contract, hide, and don't take the appropriate risk. On the other hand, the voice of intuition says, grow, expand, and take an appropriate risk. And that is what Carrie did. It was really hard for her. She had to write a new resume and a cover letter, and she felt a lot of fear while doing this. She had to go through her contacts and find people who would give her recommendation letters. And some of them refused because they thought her qualifications were just not good enough. Still at this moment, Carrie is happy that she stretched. She heard and acted on her intuition. And now our second insight. Realize the dots connect when you look backwards. There's a famous quote from Steve Jobs. He said, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in your future. You have to trust in something, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. This approach has never let me down and it has made all the difference in my life. So in this quote, Steve Jobs mentions destiny. For example, I've seen this in my own life. I asked a career counselor about a college for animators, and she looked high and low for me and finally found one. What I learned in that college, I now apply to things I do. I learned a lot about video and audio editing. This helps me with my podcast and my blog, and even my books. I didn't know I'd become a blogger. I didn't know I'd be a podcast creator or someone who wrote books. But when I look backwards, I see that the dots connected for my destiny. And now for the third insight, talk to the God and Goddess. You can say something like this prayer, God and Goddess, help me quiet down my distractions so I can hear my intuition, support me to fulfill my destiny. So mote it be. You can use a prayer like this or something similar. And now let's pull this all together. Your destiny and your intuition are closely intertwined. Some people suggest that your intuition is a channel that the gods use to talk to you. So the important thing is to quiet down the distractions. It's also important to understand the difference between the two voices. The voice of fear says, contract, hide, avoid the appropriate risk. On the other hand, your intuition says, expand, grow, explore, and take the appropriate risk. And you also realize that even though you may want it, you can't always see your destiny. But when you look backwards, you can see how the dots connect. You did one thing that led to another that led to another, and opportunities opened because you moved forward 
using your intuition. And remember, talk to the gods. And now I will summarize. The first insight is hear and act on your intuition. The second insight is realize the dots connect when you look backwards. And number three, talk to the god and goddess. I'm Moonwater Silverclaw, and just recently, my 11th anniversary edition of my book, Hidden Children of the Goddess, is now available on audible.com. And to go further and deeper, you can try one of my nine books. And for more information, you can go to my websites, goddesshasyourback.com and moonwatersilverclaw.com. I also have three courses on udemy.com. The first one is Goddess Style Weight Loss. The second one is Spiritual Solution for Depression Relief. And the third one is Beyond the Law of Attraction to Real Magic. May all these help your journey. Blessed be.